Hey what's up welcome back to Travel Tech. So in our previous videos you've seen the unboxing of the Vio4 A129 Plus Duo Quad HD Plus FHD Dual Channel Dash Cam backed by the previous generation Starway Sensor. So in this video I'll be doing a detailed video quality review along with showing you its license plate readability. So before I talk anything more let's jump in. So starting with the nighttime footage from the front camera, if we take a look at the license plate read at the car in front, so as you can see even though in spite of being in the glare of my headlight, this dash camera is able to read the license plate. Although the central area is a bit over glowing I think, but overall you can still make out the number plate. Now let's jump in into another instance wherein I want to show you that there is a high glare coming from the opposite vehicle as indicated by the arrow and in spite of having such a high glare if I zoom in on the license plate at the left corner of the car as you can see the license plate read is pretty good you can read all the letters and numbers very clearly but there's a very interesting scenario which I want to show you if you can notice there is a red color swift car right in front of my car about a distance of 20 to 25 feet and if I zoom in on its license plate now this is simply amazing this is simply fantastic because I never expected this dash camera to read the number plate at such a far range in spite of having such a high glare right next to it I mean you cannot say that you cannot make out the number plate in this even though it is slightly blurred out all letters and numbers are distinctively visible and you can make out the entire plate the rest of the area is completely filled with noise because of the glare from the headlight which I just showed you but the overall license plate readability is simply amazing. This goes to show that the license plate readability is actually very decent, actually very good in this dash camera and this will be something worth investing. Taking a look at the license plate read in a normal condition without glare, you can again make out the license plate very easily. Now this car is about a distance of 10 to 15 feet. Coming to the daytime footage of the license plate readability from the front cam, now let's zoom in on the car right ahead about a distance of 15 feet. Now a very good read of a license plate again, no disturbance, no noise, actually a very decent license plate read. Let's jump on further down into the video to show you a very close up view of the license plate. So here as you can see a very crystal clear read of the license plate, I mean this can't get any better than this, all dash cameras actually excel actually perform very very well at a very close range and even in this example the license plate read at a very close range is simply fabulous. Now just notice the Renault Duster standing on the left corner now if I just zoom in on that you can make out the number plate in this even though the car is at the far edge of the screen and the license plate of this car is actually covering a very small portion of the entire image but still this camera is able to distinctively make out each letter and number. Coming to the overall footage from the daytime quality, as you can see, this camera supports a 2560 into 1600p resolution at 30 frames per second. The bitrate is about 24,000 kbps and the file size is about 178 MB per minute. The color saturation, contrast and brightness levels are pretty recent and the overall video quality does look very natural and very balanced and there are no major complaints regarding to its daytime video quality. Coming to the nighttime footage, again a similar experience as seen in the daytime. A very balanced picture, there is no high exposure or high glare from the headlights and also definitely what I can say is there is a very minimal to nil amount of noise in this video footage from the front camera. So the rear camera too does offer a similar experience although I might say it is slightly underwhelming when you compare this with the front camera quality. Now that's pretty obvious because this is a 1080p camera and the front is a 1600p high resolution camera so the overall picture quality does justice to the resolution it carries and you will get a very decent a very good quality from the rear camera in daytime in this dash camera coming to the nighttime footage from the rear camera now you can make out that it catches some glare from the vehicles which are facing towards the rear camera but the point to note is that this camera does not overexpose the entire image because of a single particular glare or multiple vehicles focusing their headlights on the rear cam. The glare is limited to a very small area of the entire image and the rest of the image seems unaffected, looks unaffected and renders pretty clear compared to the area where there is a high amount of glare. This goes to show that the rear camera calibration is very balanced and the overall picture quality provided by the rear camera at night is very satisfying and goes on par with the footage provided by the front camera even during night time. 
So to say in short, the rear camera performs very well in both day and night conditions and gives you a very good quality compared to most of the other cams which have a slightly lesser rear camera quality. So the A129 Plus Duo does seem to offer a very good video quality at its price. Also at the price of about 20,000 rupees, you get a dash camera which can shoot at 120 frames per second, 120 FPS at 720p resolution. Also it can shoot 1440p at 60 frames per second and the highest resolution it can go is 1600p at 30 frames per second. Well, I really think this kind of a wide range of shooting options available within this dash cam is something which is very useful to the end user because we can shoot based on our requirement and not how the dash camera wants us to shoot. If you want a high speed video in bright sunlit daylight conditions, you can go ahead with a 720p 120fps option. If you want the highest clarity, you can go with the 1600p 30fps option or if you want best of both worlds, you can shoot 1440p at 60fps. That being said, this camera also has a wide range of features which you can check out in my previous videos. So if you're interested in purchasing this dash cam, the link to purchase it is provided in the description below. Click down on the description, go ahead and purchase it. So I hope this video has helped you out in making the right decision. And in case if it did, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and smash that like button. Also do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified each time I upload a new video. So that's it. This was the video for today. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.